Hi guys, welcome to my final bunting tutorial. Sorry, sorry it took so long to get to this final joining video. Um, I've been meaning to do it for so long and just not found the time because uh, I do have so many other responsibilities other than happy berry. So, but let's crack on. Let's come up with a way to join these bunting triangles. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's bring in my RNNI Lifeboats tin that I've been using to store all my free advertising there for RNNI and uh, this is where I've been storing all my bunting triangles over the last few weeks and we've been designing a tulip triangle this little flower one here and we got our grapes one haven't we this grapes crocodile stitch triangle we had our strawberries triangle that we made I've got two of each because uh, I designed one and then filmed one we've got our vertical stripes we've got our diamond shaped one and we've got our horizontal stripes we've got our granny triangle shaped one and our tassel one as well so let's find a way to join all these together shall we so i'm just going to grab some similar colored yarn and use the same crochet hook now i haven't um, come up with a design for joining these so let's um Let's figure this out as we go along shall we let's pick a triangle to begin so we want to space them out um we don't want to do like two the same together we want to just start with a sequence so i'm going to pick one of each and if you don't know what these bunting triangles are for the reason they exist in the world then do check out my website at happyberry.co.uk forward slash cal c-a-l and there i've written a little blog piece there's a link to a blog piece about um, about bunting or penance as they're known in the us i believe and we use them for decorating special occasions. So let's pick one of these to begin with. And what we wanna do is we wanna get some yarn and each of these triangles is gonna have a different top edge, but hopefully most of them will have some kind of stitch to work into. So I think what we'll do is we'll do some chains first. Let's do a little slip knot there. You could do some simple chains or you could do a single crochet foundation stitch. I think I'll just do some simple chains because it's just going to be for tying. So let's chain a few chains. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe a little bit more than that to tie it to something. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20 so we probably need to do double that to tie it to something so let's chain about 40 37 38 39 40 okay so i've chained about 40 so a nice good length to be able to tie it to something when we want to hang it up and then we'll put our hook into that corner grab the yarn bring it through and we can go straight into a single crochet or a double crochet in UK terminology. And I'm going to work one single crochet in each stitch across. We've got nice proper stitches for this triangle, so that's good. Making sure the tassel bit's at the bottom. And I'm just working single crochets across. We've got a bit of a gap there, so I'm just going to work into the gap. Move that over. I can probably fit a couple of single crochets in there. Then carry on with the proper stitches. Actually got a nice the same colour blue, that's, that's nice. Although it's only going to work for this triangle. So I hope you've enjoyed this crochet along. I hope you've made some pretty bunting. I've been enjoying seeing your projects on Instagram. Um, so if you want to share your projects, do find me on Instagram at happyberrycrochet and use the hashtag hashtag happyberrycrochet and then I get to see all the projects you're making your chance to be featured as well in my stories so there we go just work that neatly across the edge that looks nice we'll do one last one in that corner and then we want to create a little bit of space in between and I recommend doing about half the stitch count we did at the beginning so I did 40 so I'm going to chain 20 Three, four, five, six, ten. So about ten. So yeah, twenty should be good. Twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Okay, so chain 20 in between. What well, one should we pick now? Maybe I should do them in, I should have done them in the order that I did these as tutorials, but let's, let's find our stripey one. This is our horizontal stripes. And again, we've got some proper stitches at the top. So you find the corner and just do the same thing with this triangle. Well, these are chains at the beginning, aren't they? So I'm just working into these chains again. If you wanted to know what yarn this was, this yarn is um, by, who is it by? It's called Rainbow Yarn. <laughs> it's a cotton yarn. I think it's Rainbow Yarn by Hobby. And it was featured in an unboxing video at some point in the past. It's a really nice yarn to work with, with gorgeous colours. It's a bit of free promotion for them. <laughs> I'm still working single crochets. So this particular triangle had chains at the beginning, so I'm just working into these chains again as neatly as I can. And the only problem I find with bunting from a designer point of view is my house is not Instagram worthy, so I can, it's really difficult to photograph bunting in my house because my house isn't really, um, let's say, fancy and boutique or anything like that. I live in a very standard family house that's full of kids' toys, normal living, no fancy. I don't even have a fancy studio or any fancy space. So photographing stuff like this to hang up in my house, I do have bunting in my house, but um, certainly wouldn't look Instagram worthy to photograph, but I shall do my best. So again, I'm going to chain 20 in between, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so let's pick our next triangle. So I think we did, we do this one next. This was our diamond shaped one. So again, it's fine. I might put it in this little chain space in there. Do a little single crochet. Then we've got a proper stitch. Then we got a gap. So I'm just working into the gap. Then into the proper stitch. And then the gap where there's a chain space, I just wrap it around the chain. It's easier. It looks just as nice. There's a lot of people out there who tell you there are all these rules and regulations on how to hold your hook and how to hold your yarn and what all these sort of things you're supposed to do and I don't follow any of them because, you know, I've always been a bit of a rule breaker <laughs> and I think it's much more fun to just do what works for you and what's comfortable for you and what makes your life easy because crocheting should be fun, it shouldn't be some kind of nightmarish chore, it should be fun so just work things as neatly as you can and if they look pretty then that's fine isn't it, that's fine, no rules. Because a lot of people ask me, oh, can you do a tutorial on how do you, how you hold your hook and your yarn? And I don't, I specifically, I can't say that word, don't like to do that because everyone has their own way of doing things. It's like a left-handed person coming along and asking, how do you write? How do you hold a pen? And it's like, well, it's going to be completely different to how you hold a pen, you know. So you need to do what works for you and what's comfortable for you and... That's all I can advise. So there we go, that's worked neatly across there. Then we're going to chain 20 again. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 20. Okay, let's pick our next one. So I think we'll let's pick this tulip one. We've got nice proper stitches at the top here as well. On the subject of left-handed tutorials, um, the reason I don't do left-handed tutorials is because I'm not being left-handed myself. My dad's left-handed, but he doesn't crochet unfortunately. Um, but um, not being left-handed myself, I wouldn't feel confident enough um, to just produce a left-handed tutorial because um, I wouldn't know whether it would actually work without testing it myself. Um, a lot of the people that do left-handed tutorials, they just flip the video. They literally just would record this and then they would just flip the video and that would be like the left-handed tutorial. So I could do that, but because I don't, I'm not left-handed myself, I didn't feel confident enough to be putting content out there um, that I can't test myself so I'm really really sorry to any left-handed crochets out there I really hope you can adjust these tutorials that I do um, to suit your own way of doing things um, yeah so that's the reason why um, it's not that I haven't thought of you I just I only ever want to put content out there that's really tested well and I know I feel confident in myself to provide that content maybe one day I'll get my dad to crochet and then uh, he can test my tutorials that would be cool so and then the last one i'm just going to work into that chain space and there we go so there's that one done work neatly across and let's chain another 20. and 20 okay so next next pattern let's pick our vertical stripe shall we so what we've we got at the top here I think we've got chains again so I'm just going to work it neatly into the corner so I don't know proper stitches just chains I'm just going to work into this as neatly as I can into these chains again Making sure my triangle's facing the right direction. <laughs> and there we go, just one single crochet across. And this matches up as well, so that's nice. Coming up to the corner, that should do it. And there we go, so that looks nice. And then I'm gonna chain 20 in between for our next triangle. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so next triangle, what should we pick now? Should we have some strawberries? So the strawberry triangle. Uh, we've got nice proper stitches on this one, so that's good. So we're doing okay so far. They've all got proper stitches at the top remember what I've designed. I've been actually really busy over the summer. I've had a bit of a break from from Happy Berry in a way but it's because I've been taking some time out from doing well I've been doing these tutorials but <laughs> I haven't really been taking a break at all. It's just an illusion that I've created um, because I've actually been working on a really exciting new project um, for Happy Berry with regards to my crochet kits now as some of you know I did some um, I started off doing these hampers and then I moved on to creating crochet kits 
and they were like mystery crochet kits so it would always be a surprise what you got and you would pre-order them they're not a subscription thing so you could just pre-order them as and when you want them so you're not tied into any horrible subscriptions and stuff where you might get something you don't like um, so we've got um, a little plan coming in the autumn that I've been working on some exciting and new kits and they're not mystery kits they're not subscription kits they are something completely different it's really exciting so I, I hope I hope you will enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed designing and working on some of these kits so to wait and see but that should hopefully be launching in September all being well September 2019 depending on when you're watching this and uh, yeah so there we go this is that triangle done so we're going to chain 20 in between two three 18, 19 and 20. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to do the grape one next, shall we? So this one, we need to make sure we get the right side. So the side with these strands is going to be on the back. So we've sort of got proper stitches here. We've got more of a kind of oval shape, haven't we? A little fan shape going on. So what I'm going to do is put the hook in the last stitch. I can get it in there. Go on, go in. And then just do a single crochet, and we'll just work the single crochets across, and it'll just be more sort of a bit more shapey for this one. What you could do when it sort of dips down, we could do some bigger stitches, couldn't we? We could do some half double crochets or some double crochets. What do you think? Yeah, that looks good. So we'll do some half double crochets in the little dip. Then, so maybe about two, and then we can go back to single crochets again. So a half double crochet in UK terminology is going to be a half treble. So that should make it a little bit more straight, hopefully. Just repeat that to the end, doing some bigger stitches, then back to single crochets. Let's have a look at that. So that looks fairly straight. That's cute. Okay, then we chain 20 in between. Two, three, four, 20. And then the last triangle we had was our loop stitch one, and then that's got proper stitches as well. So we can just, well we've got chains actually aren't they, but that's okay, just put it in the corner, do a single crochet and then just work into the chains again, it's a really really loud tractor or combine harvester outside, there's so much uh, farm work going on at the moment. Can you, can you hear that? <laughs> it's a massive tractor. They're just like constantly going past and it's... I've never, I've never seen so many actually. We didn't have as many last year so I don't know whether they changed their crop or something. But uh, yeah, farmers are very busy at this time of year. So just working single crochets into these chains and this is the last triangle so all of the triangles should be fairly easy to crochet into they've all got proper stitches or chains to work into so that's good and that's how I'm going to join my bunting and once you get to the very end Obviously I'm going to do, going to add the other triangles, so there we go, so it's that one, so obviously I'm going to add the other triangles as well, so they're all joined up now, looking good, 
So I'm going to add the other triangles and then all you need to do at the end is just chain 40 like you did at the beginning. So not 20, we'll just do 20 chains in between and then we'll do double that at the end, 40. So when you get to your last triangle, just chain a nice length at the end so you can tie it to something and hang it up. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish joining these together. I'm going to hang it up somewhere. I don't know where that's going to look worthy enough in my house um but um i'll give that a try and then show you what it looks like and you'll have to let me know in the comments below what's your favorite triangle from the crochet along which one did you enjoy making the most which one did you hate the most which was the most complicated or fiddliest you have to let me know but i'm just going to carry that on i'm going to follow the same pattern as well so the first one i did was the granny one so i'm going to find my next granny one where has it gone i've lost it already there you are. So here's my other granny one and I'm going to follow the same order so it repeats in the same order. Not that you have to do that, you can do whatever order you like. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you the finished bunting. Ta -da! And you totally know what I've forgotten to do, don't you? I didn't chain 20 in between. See, so don't forget your 20 in between. One, two. <laughs> And there we go. So this is my non-Instagram worthy wall and it's actually really long. So um, just doing eight triangles, it reaches from one room, uh, one side of the room to the other. And there's my huge world map <laughs> and all the way to the other side. So it goes quite a long way. And that's just doing two of each triangle with 20 chains in between and 40 each end. So it's absolutely huge. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed crocheting my bunting and I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where in the world are you? <laughs> Where are you based?